Hey, how's it going, folks? This is E.T. Got a little request from Blaze Wolf. And his question was, um, let's see. I learned a lot, but what I'm looking to learn is how to add audio slash your voice to a video slash clip that doesn't have sound. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that done. Pretty straightforward. What I'm going to do is um, I have a clip here that I'm going to drag into the timeline. And he said a clip that doesn't have sound, so what I'm going to do is detach the audio here. And I'm just going to delete the sound so we have a uh, representation, a great representation of what he wants. So we have a video clip that has absolutely no sound. So first things first, let's figure out how to add a uh, audio, like audio file, like MP3 or uh, AAC file or any kind of audio file. So you can pretty much go to file import media here or you can use this button here import and uh, the most recent version of iMovie the icons look a little bit different but pretty much I think the share moved over here to the right right now I'm on my Hackintosh so it's not it's one version behind but it's still pretty pretty much identical the way you do it's pretty much the same so what I'm gonna do is actually import some media and I'm gonna go to where is that media at? I think it was in my Mac hard drive. Let me close up some folders so I can find it. And there it is. And this song Mile High was actually downloaded from the YouTube audio clip library, which YouTube lets us use without having to worry about bumping up against copyright infringements. Uh, if you've been on YouTube long enough and you put music in your on your videos, sometimes you get false flags or, or sometimes people put, you know, music that's not theirs you know okay so then you clip on the clip here and you can hear it but you just drag it right below and what I'm gonna do is actually lower the volume because it's a pretty loud clip and you can um, let's make this, this uh, space smaller so I can see the whole you can either drag it in or you can put your cursor over the timeline cursor where you want to cut it at. So let's do it right there. And then you can right click to split clip. Or you can see that command B. Um, once you get used to using shortcuts, it's a lot faster. Just hit, hit command B. But for this video, I'll actually just use the mouse here. And now it's two separate clips. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and hit the delete button. So now we have a clip with audio. And of course, if you watch my um, audio editing tutorial, you can see, and I'll put a link in the description, you can actually see how to really edit, um, like really fine tune the editing. But for this one, we're just going to show you how to add audio. Okay, now we have audio, but he also requested it to do put your voice on it. So I'm going to take this, um, actually, I'm going to just minimize, I'm going to, um, turn the audio down to zero so you don't hear it and what you do is you go to the window menu item here and then you go down to record voiceover or you hit the V key that's the shortcut there and then you have a a little menu that appears underneath your your viewer here this one will allow you to choose the input source and right now I'm using an external microphone uh, highly recommended it's audio technica 2205 USB but you can use the built-in one or your webcam one, whichever one you want. And uh, you can actually mute the project while you're recording, which is a smart thing to do. Or not, up to you. But let's just record some audio. So I'll put the timeline scrubber a like, little bit in. And I'll hit this record button. And it'll give you a three countdown. Three, two, one. Hey, how's it going, everybody? ET here, blah, blah, blah. This is a tutorial how to record voiceovers okay talk to you soon bye bye and then you to end it you just click on the button and now you have a clip of audio so now if you want to you could do have both keep both clips there up to you and you notice it kind of ducks it for you automatically which is awesome so let me let me play it real quick Hey, how's it going everybody? ET here, blah blah blah. This is a tutorial how to record voiceovers. Okay. Talk to you soon, bye bye. And then you to end it you Okay. 
So, iMovie is smart enough to actually duck the the music track for you, the other track for you while you do it. So it's pretty cool. And again, you could actually um, you could cut up this clip if you want to. Split clip. There we go. And I can split it right here as well. Let me make sure I'm on the split clip. And I can delete that center section if I don't want any. And then it basically replaces it with music. And then it goes to my voice. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Here. If you don't want that background voice. So that's pretty much it. Very simple. And iMovie makes it really easy to do. So you can't go wrong. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for the question, Blaze Wolf. I hope this helps. Uh, if anybody else has any uh, tutorials they'd like me to do, just go ahead and drop them in the comments. And uh, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit the magic 5,000 this year in 2015, if possible. <laughs> of course, I only have like 400 or something right now. So let's. I'm going to try my best to hit 5,000. That's my goal. Okay, talk to you soon.